I speak now to Nuha Bashir. She's head of partnership for Gaza at the aid agency Global Empowerment Mission. She joins us now from Cairo. Thank you so much uh, for joining the program. Nuha, you worked inside Gaza before the war and left, I believe, when it began. Tell us a bit about your personal story, what it's been like to watch the crisis in Gaza unfold over the last five months. Um, thank you so much for having me today. Um, actually, yes, I was in Gaza and I witnessed like one month of the war. It was terrible. The situation there is catastrophic. Even working there is really challenging for the humanitarian actors. It's not easy. It's it's a challenging in terms of moving aid, in terms of movement, in terms of access of um, of all sides. Uh, it's it's not easy. It's challenging. Yeah, tell us a little bit about your organization, because that's that's your job, isn't it? Uh, getting getting aid to Gaza through the Rafa crossing. How, how many trucks are you sending, for example? How, how often and how many are managing to get through? Um, actually, Jim is uh, committed to support the supply chain capacity for movement of, of aid to, to Gaza. And we've been supporting uh, different international actors here in Cairo to move aid to Cairo. We've been successful to transit um, and move um, many trucks, more than 70 trucks to Gaza, including uh, different categories of aid like food, medicine, medical supplies, wheat flour, um, um, medicines, as I said, um, Blankets, mattresses, uh, shelter items, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And, and how successful have and these trucks been in, in getting through? Because we often hear uh, about trucks uh, just lining up at the border, not being allowed through, or uh, just not passing inspection. It is a challenging, but we were successful in moving all those trucks into Gaza, and we. A team on the ground there. They are facilitating and supporting the distribution safely to civilians, um, doing the like door-to-door uh, -door dis distribution to the tent city distributions. So we are successful in doing the uh, movement of aid uh, through uh, Rafah uh, border into Gaza with the support of our team uh, there on the ground. Uh, you've been delivering aid almost since the beginning of the conflict. Tell us how the needs of people in Gaza have changed and grown. Uh, we heard earlier from that do from a doctor talking about increasingly that uh, doctors are dealing with non-trauma-related conditions like disease and respiratory illnesses, suggesting that people are now not just being killed from injuries, uh, they're dying from other means. Yeah, in fact, the, the needs are massive. The needs are massive and no one can deny it. It's it's difficult. And we are trying always to keep like continuous assessments of the needs on the ground to support those pe people in need. Um, it's like, um, uh, I mean, the humanitarian situation is catastrophic. The number of injured is increasing day by day. Uh, the number of people killed increased day by day. And we are trying to support as much as we can in terms of meeting the needs uh, of the um, uh, people there. OK, Nuha Bashir, appreciate your time. Head of Partnership for Girls at the Aid Agency Global Empowerment Mission. Thank you.